Hi, welcome to Weekly Physics with Sir Danny. Today, I'm going to show you how to perform analytic method in solving resultant vectors. I have here a simple problem in working with resultant vectors that involves two vectors. To go from your house to a nearby store, you must walk 10 meters east and then turn 40 meters 40 degrees north of east. The question is, what is your resultant displacement? We have here two different vectors. Vector A, which is equal to 10 meters to the east. Vector B, 40 meters, which is directed 40 degrees north of east. And this is how a vector is illustrated in a Cartesian plane. From the origin of the Cartesian plane, we draw 10 meters going east. And from the tip of the first vector, we draw the tail of the second vector, which is 40 degrees as the angle of projection north of east, which is equivalent, the magnitude also is equivalent to 40 meters. To determine the resultant of this vector, Graphically, we can use uh, the tip to tail method, which is from the origin, we can draw the tail of the resultant vector and connect it to the tip of the second vector. That's why our vector here is diagonal and there is a certain angle theta that we are to find out later on. The first thing, thing that you need to do in finding the resultant vector of a certain ve of two vectors or multiple vectors is that you find first the individual components of each vector. These individual components are the horizontal component and the vertical component. In the in the previous video, we were able to find out how to break down vectors into different components. We can write vector A has two different components, which is the x component and the y component. We can write here vector A x to denote that this is the x component of vector A, which is equal to 10 meters cosine 0 y0 because vector a is lying along the x-axis and on the x-axis the angle of projection is equal to 0 for the y-axis or the y component of vector a we can write it as vector sub vector a sub y and we can write it as 10 meters sine 0 and then we can simplify this by applying the operation that is intended for this vector 10 cosine 0 will result to 10 meters because cosine 0 is equal to 1 10 times 1 is equal to 10 Sine 0, on the other hand, is equal to 0. So 10 times 0 is equal to 0. For our first vector, we don't have any y component, only the x component, because our vector a lies along the horizontal axis. For vector b, we can write v sub bx to denote that this is the x component of vector b as 40 meters cosine 40 and the y component which is vector b sub uh, vector v sub by which is the vertical component that is equal to 40 
meters sine 40 degrees. Then we proceed doing the operation intended in finding out the components of every vector. 40 cosine 40 will give us the value of 30.6. So we can write here 30.6 meters. Well, 40 sine 40 is equal to 25.7 also in meters. Okay. Let me rewrite vector B for a clear for a clearer view. Now notice the difference between vector A and vector B is that vector B has two components. We have the A, uh, we have the x component and the y component. The second step is that we're going to add all x components and all y components. We have here the individual x and y components of vector A and vector B. The x component of vector A is equal to 10 meters. And the x component of vector B is equal to 30.6 meters. On the other hand, the y component of vector A is equal to 0. And the y component of vector B is equal to 25.7 meters. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add all x components and all y components. To find the sum, it's just we're going to add them all together. So if we're going to add 10 plus 30.6, that's equal to 40.6 meters. Do not forget to add the units. Meters plus meters is equal to meters. For the y component, we have 0 plus 25.7, that's equal to 25.7. Don't forget the unit. And we have now the different sum of all x and y components. After adding all x and all y's, we are going to get the resultant vector of these two vectors here, vector A and vector B, using the sum of all x and y components. And if you notice that in our, in our illustration, that the vector that is the resultant between A and B forms a right triangle because of its components. And hence, to find the resultant vector and the direction of the vector, we are going to use the Pythagorean Theorem. According to Pythagorean Theorem, the hypotenuse side is equal to the adjacent side square plus the square of the opposite side. In a vector form, this is written as the square of the resultant vector is equal to the sum of all x, x components square plus the square of all y components. Our vector, which is equal to an unknown, 
we're going to use the sum of all x and the sum of all y's. The sum of all x is equal to 40.6. Don't forget the, mid, the unit, which is square, plus the sum of all y's, which is equal to 25.7 meters square. If we're going to square the individual x and y components, we will arrive at a certain value that would sum up to the x and the y, which is equal to 213, no, I'm sorry, that is 2312.8 meter square. Our goal is to find the resultant vector that has only meters at its unit. But notice our vector here has square meter. What are we going to do is that we need to eradicate or we need to extract the square root of this vector so that our the square will be cancelled out. In extracting the square root, we must extract the square root from both sides of the vector or the both sides of the equation so that the square will cancel out. Hence, our vector r is equal to the square root of 2312.8 meters square, which is equal to 48.1. The, squ the square of meters square is equal to meters. Hence, the resultant vector is equal to 48.1. How about the direction of vector that, call, that is 48.1 meters long? In finding out this one, since we are using the Pythagorean theorem, we can use the last trigonometric function of tangent, which is equal to tangent theta is equal to the sum of all y's and the sum of all x, which must be an absolute value. Since the value of y is equal to 25.7 meters all over 40.6 meters in an absolute value, the ratio between these two variables is equal to zero point six three. Since it's an absolute value, then we can have here zero point six three. What happened to the meters here that this is this will be cancelled because meters divided by meters is equal to one. 1 times 0 0.63 will give us 0 0.63. So tangent theta is equal to 0 0.63. To find the theta, we need to extract the tangent from the other side. What can we do is we can divide both sides by tangent. So that we can have theta is equal to the inverse tangent or 1 all over tangent is equal times sorry 0 0.63 so our our theta is equal to the inverse tangent of 0 0.63 which will give us 32 degrees How are you going to report your vector? You can report your vector as vector r is equal to 48.1 meters going 32 degrees. That is how 
you find the resultant vector using analytic method.